Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, I wanted to go over an interesting tool in the Curves menu. If we go into the Curves menu, you can see here there is the Edit Curve tool. There are no settings for it, so it's pretty much a uh, tool that works all on its own without any kind of options. But let's uh, see how it works. Let's go to the Create menu and create a curve. So first, in the Create menu, go to Curve Tools, and you can use any of these curve tools to create a curve. I'll just use the CV Curve tool. So with the CV Curve tool selected, I can draw a curve. And I'll just draw a curve pretty arbitrarily, nothing really, no real meaning behind it. Hit Enter. Now press 3 to smooth the curve. Okay, so the Edit Curve tool will allow me to change the shape of this curve. Now you can, of course, just right click on a curve and go to Control Vertex, for example, and select CVs on the curve and change the curve's shape in that way by editing these points and changing their positions. The Edit Curve tool goes about the process of changing a curve's shape a little bit differently, though. So I'm going to select the curve and I'll go to the Curves menu. There's Edit Curve Tool. I'll click it. You see I get this gizmo down here. I'm going to hide the grid for now. So this gizmo has a couple of different components to it. There is like a XYZ axis kind of symbol, kind of a dashed line, a dashed green line for the Y axis, a dashed red line for the X axis, and a dashed blue line for the z-axis going through here. There's also this little blue handle, little diamond-shaped handle here. There's also this blue square in the middle. There's a blue square over here, and another diamond, little blue diamond-shaped handle over here. So lots of little points and handles on this thing. And there's no real instructions necessarily of how this tool really works, unless, of course, you look in the help files or something like that. There's nothing visible in the Maya interface telling you here's how this tool works. So I'm going to try and do that now. So first of all, this blue diamond shape handle here will control where on the curve the tool is. If I click and drag on this handle, you can see how the tool will drag along the curve based on where my mouse is and reposition on the curve. Now you see this black line coming out here with these two handles on it will rotate around as I move around the curve and will change length as well as direction as I rotate around. You see here as I go around this corner that black line is getting longer until we get all the way over here and it's super long like this. Okay. And if we go to the end of this curve here you can again see it getting pretty long like that. Okay, so we'll get into that in a second. But that handle there allows you to travel around along the curve to different points on the curve to change the curve shape at those points. So here I am at this point. Let's click and drag on this blue uh, square shaped handle. You see here I can actually move the point that I'm at on the curve. I can left click and drag and move that point of the curve around. The curve will reshape itself to make sure that it passes through the tool at that point. So once I left click and drag on this blue square and let go, that's when the move handle appears. If I were to left click on the blue diamond again and move it around, you can see how the move tool is gone. We do have this dashed axis lines here that I'll get to in a minute. But when I left click and drag on this blue box here and then let go, then I get these move tools. And it's very easy to accidentally click on the dashed line instead of the move tool handle. So just be careful as you mouse over it, see which one highlights yellow before you actually left click and drag. So here I'm dragging on the X move tool axis. Okay. So this changes the shape of the curve to pass through that point. And then we can move along the curve like this and change the shape of the curve again with this blue box handle. So the next thing, let's look at this black line. And we have two handles here. The first one I look at is this little blue diamond shaped handle. 
If I left click and drag on this, it actually will change the quote unquote speed of the curve at that point. You can see as I move the handle in, the curve gets a bit of a sharper angle. That's considered the uh, speed of the curve, if you will. And you can see as I move the gizmo through that point, how the handle will shorten and then lengthen again as we get to a quote unquote slower part of the curve. But I can left click and drag on this line and it will run along the line and change the shape of the curve like this, making it speed up or slow down, so to speak. And it kind of is a way of getting uh, sharper points or a more broad curvature. So sharper, more broad or sloped. Okay, so that's what this little blue diamond handle does. And it will change based on where you are on the curve. It'll change shape, indicating that point on the curve's uh, value. So the next point, this this blue, the next uh, handle, this little uh, I keep on deselecting it by accident. This blue square over here. So this blue square changed the position of the curve at that point. This blue square changes the direction of the tangent at that point. So we're changing the shape of the curve, but we're also but what we're doing is we're changing the tangent shape at that point. And again, once I left click and drag on it and let go, then we get our move handles that we can use. So you can see how you can manipulate the uh, shape of the curve, the direction of the tangent. Now, if you want your tangent to be aligned on an axis, that's where these dashed lines come in. If you want your tangent, for example, to be aligned with the x-axis, if I left click on this, it will align the tangent you see here with the x-axis or with the z-axis or with the y-axis. Just by left clicking on these handles, you can align the tangents of the curve. You can see here you get some very sharp corners depending on which direction you align with. But this is just, uh, if you don't want to necessarily freestyle the tangent alignment this way, you can click on this to align this with a specific axis. So those are the pretty much the main functions of all the tools, all the little handles on the Edit Curve tool. You just kind of chug along like on a, just like a train on a track, get to a point on that curve and start manipulating the shape however you see fit. So it's not the same as editing CV placements or CV positions, but it definitely has a lot of uh, a lot of controls that you can use, a lot of inputs you can add to change the shape exactly how you want it. So it's pretty interesting, I think. Now, if you do double click on the tool, you get the tool settings. And here you can do see, I do have a setting here. Although if you go to the curves menu, it does not show up here under the edit curve tool uh, menu option. There's no option box. But here in the settings, we have a tangent manipulator size value. If I click reset, it doesn't actually change this value. But the tangent manipulator size handle is essentially just controlling how large this handle is. If I try to adjust this a bit and change the shape here, you can see how the box of this handle shaped like a blue box move, which is the tangent direction handle. So this is the tangent manipulator handle. And by adjusting this size option, we can change that a bit, although it's not super responsive in my opinion. It doesn't really seem to make a big difference in how it actually looks.
it does make the box kind of move. But it doesn't really seem to do much other than that. I don't know. I might be missing uh, the point of this particular slider. And again, hitting reset doesn't really seem to do anything. But in any case, that is the edit curve tool. It's kind of cool. Uh, just as an aside, if I delete this curve and create a NURBS surface, go to create NURBS primitives, and let's just say a cylinder, for example. I'll make this a bit bigger. If I select my NURBS cylinder, go to surfaces menu, there, under here, there's the surface editing, and then here there is a surface editing tool, which is very similar to the edit curve tool. If I click it, you can kind of see a very familiar sight. We can adjust the curve that makes up this surface, and we can run along. We can adjust that tangent direction. We can align it with an axis if we wish and move that point around like so. If we click this little blue circle here, we kind of change the direction that we're looking at, that we're controlling. So yeah, there is this. It's a very similar tool. We might get back to that in its own video at some point. It works in a very similar fashion as the edit curve tool. In any case, thanks again, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos, and I will talk to you later.